Yeah, yeah. same thing. E just... Equitable access to rigorous, relevant programs, okay? Every student, no matter their grade level, race, income, or address, should have access to a consistently rigorous education with rich learning opportunities. Keep Stop going. there. No, keep you going. Know what it? No. We must set and hold clear and high standards for all with varied ways for students to show what they have learned. Our teaching methods must be flexible, engaging, and culturally relevant to help all students achieve. Well, we just kind of talked about this. So, so if they actually followed this, which they won't, they would take those schools where they now have these test-driven curriculums, and they would shift them to schools that don't have test-driven curriculums. Okay. But in actuality, A, they're not going to do that because they already reinforced it right up above there. And B, so th this is just like, what's rich learning opportunities? Rich learning opportunities, you might do, yeah. go out to the, I don't know, field trips. Field trips, rich learning opportunities, I would think. Right, right. You know, hands-on stuff. Yeah, yeah hands-on stuff, a lot of stuff. But that's, they're, they're, this, they're just writing this. This is just, they're not going to do that because they'd have to go in a total different direction than the one above, yeah. and they'd have to go in a total different direction than the school district has gone, which they're not planning to do. So what does this? This becomes meaningless. Now the last one actually is pretty good. They actually have some good stuff in it. So you done with that? Okay, let's go. You ready to go to the next one? Yeah. Okay. Supports for individual student needs, collaboration with families and community. Mm -hmm. We must use a range of teaching strategies in response to a range of learning styles. We must check students' progress regularly and then help students accelerate their learning or catch up if they are behind. Okay, now that part's not good. The last part's the good part. That's, that's back again where, where you're checking students' progress and then helping. Progress on what? Hmm. Progress on the tests. See, they don't say that on here. If they wrote this straight up, the way it should be. This would read, we must use a range of teaching strategies in response to a range of learning styles. We must check students' progress regularly on the tests and then help students get better on the tests and catch up by focusing on the tests. Hmm. That's what this actually that's says. What says. That's what it says, but that's not how it's written it's because they're not gonna come out and say that because every, every even the principals who buy in 100% to the testing stuff still say, well, no, the testing isn't the main thing. Education, hmm. but they, then they turn around and do the testing. They all do. They're all doing it. Portland Public Schools doing it day in, day out, day in and day out. So you, you can, if you got a pretty bright kid and you can pull that kid off to a school where that's that's not that's a school that has a whole lot of other bright kids, then they're going to have a pretty good education. Hmm. But hmm. if you can't pull them out of that school where you are, you can't move. You can't move them. Your kid's stuck, and that's. And if your kid's pretty good, maybe goes in the fifth grade and can read fifth grade, they're still going to test them, and they're still going to teach that class often to the fifth grade. Hmm. And he's ready or she's ready to go on and move up and do some interesting stuff and get some hands-on, get some projects going. Da, da, da. Hmm. They're still going to bang on the test, even though they don't need the test. it. So the, so the kids who are ahead get clobbered because they in those poorer schools. And the kids who are behind get clobbered because they focus on all the kids getting them to benchmarks instead of going back and really working on those that stuff. On. So, okay. so this really talks, this says we're going to do more of this testing stuff. Hmm. And then the last one actually talks let's about. Get to, let's get this yeah, other piece. Yeah. And we must wrap support around our students from strong early childhood education to essential community and family partnerships that put family and community inside the circle of how our schools serve students. Is that where the government is coming from? Is that the people? No, they? but there is somebody kind of coming that direction, that? and that, that's the, the mayor's office and the county chair's office with the, the uh, uh, Cradle to Career program. Hmm. They're talking about getting all these agencies together and working together. It's a great program. And it's really, you know, Forest Grove has done it in their high school, and it's really one of the, a program that really is pretty successful. Because you bring all these agencies and all these other things to bear on a child, on a child, and 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 you get them try and get them the help they need, the real help that they need, not just in school, but also out of school. So so they're doing that. I mean, they're doing some great stuff, but they're screwing it up in that they're using testing as the 
deal to see mm -hmm. how it works, which is just the opposite. They should be using opportunities. Mm -hmm. What opportunities are available to these kids in poor schools, not how are they doing on their test scores. Mm -hmm. and, and But that cradle to career stuff, it's like this, and, and I hope this is what this is saying is, we'll take part in the cradle to career. Okay. You know, and I've tried to get them to, I've tried to get on the cradle to career committee. <laughs> I, I've get tried to team. get the people down at, at the Portland School Foundation to sit down and talk to me about making the schools themselves work so the cradle to career can work. Because if you have this weak basis with this rotten education going on with this testing only and, and test driven stuff, then you can do all this other stuff and it's not going to be nearly as effective as if you have this great vibrant school. Where kids go in and they're into it and engaged. Okay, okay. Know. Let me ask you another question here. Now, first off, you got this is a strategic plan for Portland Public School to that's five years. Focus on what counts. It's a long time. Okay. Now the thing is that now, who represents this? Is it the school board, what or, do you is mean it, or is it represents it? Meaning that who, who's whose ideas are this? Is this coming from? Carol Smith and her staff. I think this came from Carol Smith and her staff, and then they're bringing that to the board, and the board is going to in the next couple months, as I understand it, they're going to look at this and decide if it sounds okay. Well, let me ask you this question. I mean, we're, 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 I mean, this is a very serious situation now. We, our education system, it, it means so much to us at this point in time. Everybody's trying to react to it. Uh, let me ask you the question. Is Superintendent Carol Smith the right fit in her staff for Portland Public Schools? I like Carol Smith herself, but her staff, in my opinion, isolates her. So she doesn't make the decisions not a really good decision maker necessarily and she doesn't she gets isolated out so she yeah but she's a nice woman she understands the school district she has a good but but they're going down the wrong path but she's if still get, ultimately if makes they the get decision, a, she if, makes the decision the final decision well, you only make you only make the final decision if you actually make the final decision oh, right okay. you might have, your staff might be making it for you okay uh, the and I think she's she works good with the school board we got something kind of interesting coming on now in Portland. We got those two new school board members who are, they have different attitudes, I think, than you've seen before in the Portland schools. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Question this. They can't They're not going to sit back and just no, I'm, no, I'm, no. They're going to question and think about it. Okay. And now, uh, I know Matt Morton is. I haven't okay. talked to Bilal for a while. But they will take it out. But but, I I, I think you might there okay. might be. We might have that aspect okay. improved. I'm okay. hoping. Let's do this. Let's do this. We've got about a five minutes. Maybe, sure. we'll get, maybe we'll get a question. Yeah, in. get a question. But let's keep talking. Let's see if we can get a question. We got a question in. Can we? Can we get one in? Okay. No, we won't be doing it. Okay. Good. We won't have anybody at this point in time. So what we'll do is, in some future date, we'll we'll probably get into the, to those other pieces aspect of it. So, how would you have handled this? I know we've gone through what, each one of the points. Plan? Yeah. How would you have handled this? Well, as a strategic plan is supposed to be the directions that you go in the next, in this case, the next five years. Okay. Well, it's fine. Personally, you shouldn't do a strategic plan more than four years, probably anyhow, because you only, you, it's boring, board turns over. So, but the, what directions are you, do you want to go? That should be what's in here. They're saying we want to do more testing. But the directions you should be going are the opposite of that. So I'd have gone is, the opposite, right. which is de -emph you can't get out of the testing. Feds won't let you out of the testing. They'll quit sending the money if you don't test. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the State Department is psycho on testing. Uh, and, and the new governor will be psycho -er on testing. Uh, but they should de-emphasize it. They should say, look, A, we don't, we don't really care what your tests are. Here, we'll give you a little... We'll give you a little uh, uh, kind of little lesson plans on how to deal with your test to teach your kids how to take tests and da 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 but don't teach beyond that on the test go back and start teaching real education I mean it, the list of things that kids don't know or don't have available to them that we had available to us I mean all the stuff you've you've talked about all the industrial arts and all that stuff the, the uh, shouldn't they be talking about where we want to go do we want to go to more technology now what I put that in my strategic plan yeah we want to increase the technology right how do we do that how do we want to make it better do we do we want to go to 
healthier activities, teaching health, better lunches, more PE? Do we want to do that? Do we want to go to arts? Do we want to make sure kids read more in that so we're improving the libraries and, and making the libraries work, which they're they're this doesn't still, do the, it the, doesn't the, do any of this. this. Do what this does says what this says is this kind of vanilla plan, which basically says we're gonna kinda of continue what we've been doing, which is not been very successful, but that's what we're going to do, and it basically says we're going to do more testing. Well, let me ask you this question. Because otherwise, they come out and say we're going to do less yeah, testing. You yeah. see that in here? Yeah, I got no. that. I, I now, you, that. you mentioned earlier on when we were having this conversation that back in 89 when Matt was there, how was a student, how do you compare the students from 89, you know, when you and Roberts and Vera Katz came up, they came up with the whole idea of the, uh, e, the college thing and all this, that, and the other. How do you compare 89 and doing that area and now? Did we have a better plan? The, Did we have a better oh, plan? Oh, there? yeah, the education is way better. They they should go back and have education like they used to have. Right. Because it was broader. Right before America. Mer- yeah, right before they started going to the to all the testing stuff. The the education is still very good mm-hmm. in those well to do schools. Right. But they took all that good education out of the other schools. I mean, Benson's a perfect example yeah, of the industrial exactly, arts yeah, stuff. Yeah. They cut it down to 850 kids now, 853, by the way. Wow. They had three, they screwed up three, so they're going to let three extras in there. But 850 kids, well, it used to have, what, 1,500? Hmm. I, I mean, and, and so the education's gotten way worse. Unless you're in those schools where they're not worrying about the tests, then the education's fine. I mean, if you got a kid in Alameda, a grade school, going to get a good education. Okay. We got about one minute. I wanted you to comment about the Jefferson situation, that new magnet now. They got IE picking up a community, you know, a, a degree, if you will. Seems to be going along. Line. Well, I, I, I think it's tricky enough that you're going to have to look down the line. I mean, uh, the idea might attract some, I think it's attract some kids. They've got an increase in the number of kids there. Mm-hmm. So that's good. But did they get an increase in the number of kids there because of the magnet or because now Benson can't take Third of Benson's population is Jefferson. Was is Jefferson kids? That's why Jefferson. That's why Benson gets cut up, because it's not just that the well-to-do community doesn't care about Benson, which they don't. But then Jefferson doesn't like Benson either because they want to cut them down because yeah. they keep stealing their kids. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Steve, look like we we could take another hour or so on this piece, but it, this is this is historical. This is. This is major stuff, and now with the governor and the legislature basically so supposedly taking the lead, I think a lot of the points that you make, I mean, should be on the table, and should be of some concern. Major you have concern. to get somebody okay. at the table who will make those points, and they don't, they won't, they purposely don't do that in the governor's Good office. Good point, Steve. Thank you very much. Always thank a you. pleasure. Okay, folks. Again, back to what you believe in from George Page and from the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. We'll see you next time. 